Hey everybody, it's Ben with just a basic little update to a, uh, a energy monitoring system I'm just getting started on. Right here I've got an Arduino, and then up in my breaker box, the blue device you see here is a CT, a current transducer. It's basically a way to measure current, and it is hooked up to the uh, circuit that my solar panels run into my main breaker box here. Uh, so basically there's just a little bit of uh, programming and some resistors here to be able to take that current from uh, the current trans transducer and register it as a, a DC voltage that the Arduino can understand. So essentially it's an input to the Arduino and then I have a little bit of code to drive a servo. So basically the servo will change based on how much current is going in there. So it's a pretty cloudy day overall. Um, I mean, it's, it's steady though, it's, a, it's wispy clouds and I have this scaled as appropriate so that between zero and 180 degrees my solar is in that range. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to reset the Arduino. Uh, our servo will move just because that's what it does is kind of part of the boot up and then it will show me how much current I'm producing. So as you can see there, it didn't move too much from the position it was already at just because uh, we don't really have any change going on. But for example, if it was bright and sunny and suddenly some clouds came in front of the sun, this would bzzzt, go down. Uh, this is set to update at about um, once per second right now, but I could set it to any rate I want it to be. So again, this is just kind of some, some learning, some tinkering. Um, I am working with uh, some of the concepts on the opens source energy monitor system. I'll post a link to that. Uh, but when I'm all done, the idea would be, for example, to measure current from the solar, bring it into the Arduino, and then from there I can do whatever I want. For example, I could make a little analog gauge showing how much solar I'm making, but I could also control the output of an electric car charger to be able to throttle how fast an electric car charges uh, based on the solar. So I can put only the solar power into the car yet without pulling any additional power from the grid. And we'll be working on that in future episodes. Thanks a lot. Stay charged up.